I live in a suburban area, pretty close to the city of Rotterdam. And here in the neighborhood there is uh, not so much uh, wildlife and nature in general. So whenever I encounter nature, whether that is over here or on vacation, it is always a very special thing to me. And um, last year we were on vacation in the English Lake District. It is a beautiful mountainous area and we had a little cottage near Lake Windermere and uh, one morning I woke up and uh, I woke up uh, a little bit earlier than uh, my husband and I decided to take a stroll, just a short walk to make some early morning pictures of um, the lake and the mountains. And, the cottage was situated uh, on a slope higher than the lake. And um, you had a great view over a part of the lake and the mountains and uh, And the road, the cottage was um, near, it was uh, used only by the locals and people who wanted to do some cycling and uh, walking, hiking. So it is not a very busy road, but there were certainly people always uh, passing. And that particular morning, it was about 9, I, th I think, so it was not extremely early. I took um, the camera and just started walking. And I found a beautiful view and, uh, that was on the left side of the road. So I went to the left side of the road and uh, took a couple of pictures and just enjoyed the cool the coolness of the morning air and the warmth of the sun it was a beautiful sunny day i love that early morning combination of cool fresh air and warm sun rays that is my favorite combination and then when I had taken the pictures I turned around walked back to the street about two meters and then suddenly I saw that in the meadow on the right side of the road there was this beautiful roe deer staring at me. It was a female and she was just looking at me and then I was able to take a, a picture while she, while she was walking away slowly. She was very calm, beautiful reddish brown color.
and uh, for me it is uh, pretty uncommon to see a row there at 9 9:30 a.m. in the morning but it was so quiet there and peaceful all those little meadows with the stone walls the lake district is a beautiful place but uh, you need to be prepared for uh, powerful thunders, powerful rainstorms We went for a hike that day, walking in the mountains, and we had already seen in the shops, in the outdoor shops, that they sell a lot of rain gear. And we thought, well, we have a lot of experience with uh, hiking and walking, and also with hiking in bad weather, but do we really need rain pants, a rain gear complete suit with a jacket? We did have jackets, but also with pants. So we decided to rely on our experiences and uh, that turned out to be a little mistake because when we were there in the mountains we saw some clouds coming and then the wind picked up extreme winds extreme winds I almost the wind blew me off my socks literally and uh, the rain didn't fall from the sky, but it came horizontally. It was immediately clear why all those Englishmen buy complete rain gear and hike in complete rain gear. We had seen people wearing it, but until we experienced that rainstorm, we didn't know that you really needed rain gear. So we were soaking wet, but we continued and we had a marvelous time when we got back that day we had a nice dinner and then when we drove back to our cottage on that same uh, road we had another encounter with wildlife and this time it was an animal I've never seen before. It was a barn owl and uh, it wasn't really dark yet but uh, it was flying under the trees and it was clear immediately that this was a barn owl and it was flying in front of us and then suddenly it uh, landed in a tree and we could take a close look at it it was not uh, taking pictures wasn't uh, didn't work but what a beautiful animal that is
That was an amazing day. If you are planning on going to sleep right now, I wish you uh, a very good night and um, I hope you will have a uh, good night's rest and wake up tomorrow refreshed and with a joyful heart. Bye-bye.